In this video, we are going to be using AI to make an online game that we will deploy to make millions. Many developers and entrepreneurs aren't just building apps, but they're playing simple, fun online games that others can play and they're making money off of it. This guy right here built an online solitaire game that earns him nearly $2,000 a month. He built it once and never has to maintain it. Now that's a true passive income source. The opportunity online games is huge right now and not many people are capitalizing off of it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is for you to use AI to build your first online game deploy it and start getting users all within an hour. Now I've mentioned in previous videos to get a great app or game idea. The best way to do it is just by getting inspiration from what's already out there. So we go to Uber's website. One of the coolest things it has is a community tab. So we're going to go to the community tab, which launches our discord. And we're just going to look at what people are creating. I think it's one of the easiest ways to find a quick idea. Um, you know, so you go into share your works. And we look at some different ideas. You know, what are people creating with this with this website? All right, so I got some projects loaded up right here. Um, this one looks pretty cool. It looks like a Polaroid camera. It says, use photo, use camera. Now, this obviously isn't a game per se, but it's kind of cool to see. Let's see, like, what do I do? What this can do. So this is one of my thumbnails that I had in a previous video. Oh, nice. It generates a Polaroid from it. Oh, that's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Now, I could actually see someone paying for this in the case they want to like polarize their photos. That's even a word. I have one where just me. It's not a thumbnail. Let's try this one maybe. Okay. I like that one. That's nice. Okay. This is cool. This is pretty cool. In fact, that was made just by AI. It's insane. If you're not a fan of Marvel, I don't know what you're a fan of. Enter the Marvel Universe. This is. 432 times viewed. So a lot of people definitely try this out. All right, so start the quiz. I like to believe I'm Iron Man, just saying. Maybe this. Mr. Scribes, you. I can be witty, powerful, and determined, adaptive, direct, and straightforward. Be analytical and strategic as well. But yeah, super powerful would it be? Um, why would you not want something different? I love this quiz already. Leading a team, clear value, direction, powerful individual contributor. Um, I like the leading a team. Yeah. Doctor Strange. Oh, man. I wanted to be Iron Man. Uh, it's okay. This is good, though. This is a, this is a cool game. And if, if you had a game that had maybe multiple quizzes, that could be that could be pretty something. That could be something, you know? This looks, look at the graphics. Oh, my God. Start level one. volume okay so you just okay so spaces jump and oh oh man let's try again do 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 okay oh i hit the wheel that's why i didn't even see that i can do this we we're still on level one there we did it and we're good past level one uh, i like this idea of a runner game you know where the person's like running right middle this was pretty cool. So I think I have to hit all the blue ones within the time limit. Fuck, bro, so close. Okay. Shh, bruh. Come on. Okay, we're going Bro. See, I'm okay. I'm already getting flustered by playing this game. And this is the games that you This is the game that you want users to play. Oh my god. The ones that frustrate them, the ones where they get they're able to get past and get feel that sense of achievement. Cause that's really what's gonna make the game the user come back again and again. Oh my god. Okay. All right, with the going gets tough, just ask chat GBT. So endless runner game is pretty good. Reaction time. Click as fast as you can for single. Signal brain teaser is boring. Flappy bird. That's not bad. Bubble shoe sliding puzzle. Snake game. Tap to fly game. Okay. I like the endless runner game. 
I think this is a pretty good version. And then we can just have the user continue um, to play if they pay a dollar, you know? Um, this That's how you monetize it. We can also have ads. Um, all right, so now that we have an idea, we are going to go to Uware and we're gonna ask it to build us an endless runner game. All right, so the way to do that is we're going to, well, we don't have any code to upload and we're not really pasting anything. So we're gonna create everything from scratch, right? Build an endless runner game on the path. And one cool thing we could do is we can upload images to give like some reference material. We can also use MCPs um, if needed. Uh, in our case, we're not really gonna have to use MCP, but if you want to for your specific um, project, I'll be, you could, right? You could use a, the, the Figma MCP to like, if you map out how your app's gonna look like, your game's gonna look like, then you can connect your UWare with Figma so your, your game can look exactly like how you designed it in your Figma. The obstacle should be something that's funny. Um, world leaders, you're avoiding the world leaders. Um, nah, that's kind of weird. The obstacles should be fireballs. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's try it. We'll, we'll see what we can get with this. So it's a warm workspace and it's going to really just build our, our project and we're going to see what the final result is. One of the cool things it does is it logs like exactly what it's going to be doing, right? Like a procedure. So you can see it's going to, it's highlighting what the key aspects are, right? Um, it knows what it needs, HTML file, JavaScript for game logic, CS for styling, and it kind of walks you through exactly what each file is going to do, right? And what the whole project structure looks like with the, the folders, index.html, style.css, game.js. So this is pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. All right. So the game is ready. Um, it looks, it looks kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. This like, um, it's home screen is pretty tough. The nice red glow start game. What is that? That is not, what is this avatar? <laughs> okay. So this fireball is coming. This isn't okay. So right now what's happening is the fireballs are coming to us. We're just avoiding it, right? What we want to do is we want to have her run and avoid the fireballs that should be static. So we're going to specify that. Let's see how this is. Okay. This is too easy. All right. So let's, let's fix this up a bit. Look at that. It, it kind of outlines exactly what needs to be done, which, which is really, really nice. Okay. Let's try this now. What on earth? <laughs> Bro. It's actually not bad. I, I kind of like this style too. We're just coming, the balls are coming right at you, but we're going to need to fix this, like this glitch that's happening. So I'm specifying that the obstacle should be staying still and the mouse should be moving forward, right? Cause it's a, it's a runner game. So, and I'm changing the avatar from a toad to a mouse because I think a toad looks kind of funky. Um, make the movement smooth. And yeah, make the movement smooth. No erratic jumpiness. Also make this outer space. We're gonna get a little funky with it. See, when it comes to AI games, it might be a little more work to really explain to the AI the mechanics of the game and how it should work because, you know, it is it is a game. It's not just a simple app. So um, something to keep in mind. Let's start game. Okay. I do like the... Well, the mouse facing the wrong way, but I do like the way... Okay, well... I like the look of it much better now. We say make the, we got to make the, the road animated. So it looks like we are actually moving. Um,
All right, I'm excited. I feel like with all these changes that I said it did, it would track that the segments, you know, aren't visually moving. There's not this thing about adding speed lines to make it look like the mouse is moving more. So I'm excited to see the changes. I think this this might be it. This might be it right here. So we'll maximize. We'll play this game. Oh my god. It does make this does make it look like we're moving a bit better. But it's kind uh, okay. We need to make the asteroids like a bit more we should add a glow to the asteroid so you can we can tell that an asteroid is coming because it's kind of hard so oh my god all right it's actually not bad though i kind of like this game let's see how high we can get it's easy 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 oh Ooh. oh All right, I mean, I mean, all right, okay. All right. We haven't moved a bit. <laughs> oh, we're, we're cooking. We're doing great in this game. Oh, this is actually getting hard. Oh, dang. Okay, this this is good. This is good. Let's say, um, can the asteroids be turned to, can, be brighter and more apparent. Maybe make them on fire. Um, yeah, let's do that. Also, track high score across all attempts. So we had a high score mechanism as well. So that way it feels more like a game, right? Every game is a high score. So this, this should be fun. This should be, this should make that a game even more fun. All right, here we go. Okay. This is way better. Asteroids way more visible. It's on fire. It looks cooler. Perfect. This is exactly what we want. This is exactly what we want. This is great. All right, let's see how we can do it. Okay, high score. We got to test the high score feature too. Just, let's pretend we lose. All right. High score is tracked, 188. And I'll see how high we can get. Do, 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 do. Easy. Easy. Remember, every 100 point. I was, I didn't count. I was paying attention. Every hundred points, it gets harder. Look how cool this game is. I'm actually having fun playing this. The next step we're going to do is publish this so everyone can play it. So you guys can play it. But first, let's try to get a 500 score. In fact, this is the highest score of all time on this game. If you really think about it. Because no one else has played it. Yet. Ooh, sorry, let me stop fooling around. Ooh, okay, starting now. Lock in. At 500, just like I wanted to. Easy move. I did not see a second one, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this is starting to get, starting to get serious. Okay. Shoot. I was so close to 1,000. Dang. All right, so it's great. The game works exactly how I expected to. So next step is to actually deploy this online so everyone can play. To do this, we're gonna go click publish. And just like that, the project is live. So I can just copy it right here. I can go, you know, just open it. And now anyone on the internet, internet can play this game. It can, we can see how many times this has been viewed by other people. You can see that it's created by myself. Now my challenge for you all is I want you to join my free school community, link in the description below, click challenge section, and I want you to follow this post. If you are able to get the highest score by June 6th on this game, you will earn $50, right? And there's more prizes coming up. So all you have to do is simply go to play this game, right? Which is available for everyone now by the time watching this video and post your high score and see if you have the highest score 
by June 6th. Whoever it does, you're gonna get paid. And again, a huge thank you to Uware for sponsoring this video. To use Uware, check the link in the description below and you can start building games with AI today. And if you want to see me build an entire app using AI, then watch this video next.